Uh, the guys did a pretty good job in the scrimmage. Um, you know, there's always some technique and fundamental stuff that you got to clean up, uh, especially with that many plays. Uh, but the effort was good. Uh, I thought their mindset was good, treated it like coming into a game, which is kind of what you want in those preseason scrimmages. So it's not like you're walking out trying to, um, you know, all of a sudden be in, hey, I'm in game mentality. Well, I haven't had practiced it. So that was a big point uh, for those guys. I thought they did a pretty good job of handling that. Yeah, so with Devin, he's done a great job of coming in with an open mind and uh, really absorbing, um, you know, the new language almost. I think he's done, he's played a lot of football, so he's done most of the techniques and there may be some tweaks and stuff to the way that we do things. But other than that, uh, he's done most of the stuff. So he's got to learn the new terms, what they mean, and uh, put them together. But he's done a, he's done a nice job that way. And, um, you know, we're going to look to uh, keep bringing him along and uh, try to get him as out there as often as we can and uh, keep building on it. Yeah, you know, he, he's a tough guy that uh, works real hard at it. I know we'll be able to get, you know, some plays out of him. Uh, I don't know how many reps. Yeah, I think you also got to be smart with a guy that hasn't uh, been through a whole entire preseason training camp. You know, you kind of get that football stamina. It's hard to uh, replicate getting in football conditioning or football shape without being on the field. You know, no matter how many gashes you run or what you do in the gym, it's a little bit different when you're banging against big bodies and accelerating, decelerating, getting hit, hitting someone. So I think he's still getting a little bit of that, but he's uh, uh, he's doing a pretty good job of getting himself back where he needs to be. So, uh, feel pretty good about how the depth has come together uh, right now? Uh, it's starting to. I think, you know, you're never satisfied as a coach with where everything stands, but um, you know, I think between the inside guys and the edge guys, I think we've uh, been able to put the, put it together pretty good, and um, you know, be able to go out there and play. You know, this day and age, you can't just go out and play four or five guys. That's not gonna that's not gonna allow you to make it through the season with those guys. So you got to do a good job of rotating, especially early in the season. Um, you know, at the same time, guys got to earn their spot. And they got to earn their opportunity to go out there and play. So um, that's what the last couple of weeks have been all about. Yeah, I, I, I don't think there's any secret. They have uh, some really good running backs, and um, their O line is very good. And uh, you know, they're they're going to want to run the football. I think that's uh, you know that that's yeah probably just about any team's going to want to, especially early in the season, be able to establish the run and run the ball. And you know, same thing on defense. You got to be able to stop the run. That hasn't changed. Before. A lot of stuff has changed over the last. Uh, however many years with the different rules and uh, you know the way the games play, but one thing that's say consistent is you got to be able to run the ball. You got to be able to stop the run if you want to be a successful team. So uh, for us on defense, we better be ready to go and um, play against the run game. Yeah, Blaze and Jamari have done a great job. They haven't shied away from, hey, you know, Garrett Nelson's in the room or Caleb Tanner, and then, hey, we got this new guy, O'Shawn, and they've, they've just what you said uh, in the question, they, they've upped their play. Uh, they've gotten better, which as a coach, you hope they get better. You want all of your guys to be improving, but those guys have taken pretty significant steps. They both had great summers with Zach in the weight room. Um, you know, their bodies look good, and uh, the way they're playing is translating uh, over to the field. So they've done a nice job in the run game and in the pass game. So, uh, those are guys that add some extra depth and uh, wouldn't be afraid to put those guys out in the game at all. Uh, Ty keep, keep getting better and better, as high as the ceiling probably as Ty Robinson wants it to be. Uh, uh, he's uh, very talented athletically. He's big uh, to go along with it. You know, he's got the size. He's got uh, quick twitch. Uh, I think that uh, you know he keeps working on his uh, game, both physically and mentally. How much more can he learn about not only what is he doing schematically on defense, but also what's an offense uh, offensive line doing? How are they blocking each specific play? Not just hey. They're running inside zone. Yeah, okay, we all know that. What does that mean to you as an interior defensive tackle? That's something way different than what it means to even a guy that's maybe playing a five or six technique on the edge. So uh, for him to be able to start to understand those nuances and what they're trying to do on it, uh, do to him, I think uh, he's got a great ceiling. What's the test of the coach when you take your team across the globe? You know, it's a, a strange kind of opener, but, but how are you taking that test? 
Yeah, so for me, I've never been I've never been a, a, across the uh, uh, Atlantic Ocean or any ocean for that matter. So it's a little bit new for me, and certainly uh, doing it as a coach. But I think these guys are treating this as an away game. Uh, you know, the, I know Coach Frost has said it. This isn't a bowl game that we've earned or anything like that. We're going uh, to play Northwestern and. Uh, it's more of a business trip, probably. I think that hopefully families and friends and uh, fans have a, have, a, have a blast over there. But I know from my room, the way we're looking at it is we're, we're going over there for one job in mind, and we're going to fly back, and uh, we're either going to get it done, and that, that, we're not going to accept less than that. So uh, we're going to uh, make sure that we're t- uh, treating this thing like it's a business trip for sure. Have you reached out to any of your connections to the NFL about the guys that may have played in London? I haven't talked to any guys about it. Like I said, I think that with our guys, we're going to kind of get on the plane. We're going to get over there. It's going to be, you know, get acclimated for, uh, you know, about, you know, maybe 24 hours or something like that. And then we're back into our normal, well, we call it a battle rhythm. We kind of count it backwards from the when the game starts. We're going to be on our normal preparation, our normal schedule over there and um, get ready to go that way. So uh, it's going to be, it's probably be a little bit different for us that way. But, we'll, uh, you know, it's maybe a couple extra nights in the hotel. But we're all together. We're all going to have a very similar schedule to what we've had. And I don't think that will be too much of a change for the guys. Hey, Mike, uh, Scott mentioned that he really likes the way O'Shawn has rubbed off with some of the other edge guys. What has he done to uh, impact their habits or get like whatever? Yeah, I think when you bring a guy like Oshan in the room, um, number one, he's a great guy. Uh, he's got a great personality. He handled being the new guy in the room really well. Um, you know, I think he's kind of, um, I guess, earned the trust of the guys a little bit as, a, as, a, as the new guy coming in and done a nice job with that and also uh, has played extremely hard. You know, there's some pressure on him, too, to learn a whole new system and learn the new language and all that stuff. And it, I think the way that he's attacked that, I think, pressed the guys. So um, I think it made it a lot easier for him by his work ethic. He's got a pretty humble demeanor for a guy that's a really good player, and um, he's done a nice job fitting him really well. How did he attack him? What about that? Yeah, so the way he attacked it, uh, it, number one, I think increasing and elevating his uh, speed and effort on the field, I think that's something that stood out probably to me fairly quickly. Hey, the first couple days, he may, might not have been used to uh, the speed in which we were practicing, individual, doing diff- things like that, and then he put that in his rear view mirror, mirror and jumped right in and kind of, uh, you know, was right next to those guys, and I think he's done a nice job that way. And then the other piece is sometimes when you're the new guy, you kind of have a crutch. Well, I didn't know the play uh, because I'm new, or I didn't understand the call because I'm new. He hasn't used that at all. He's gone the other way. Hey, I'm the new guy that's going to not let you down. So I think that was probably a, went a long way in gaining the, the, the respect and the trust of the guys in the room. Have you seen, like, a, an actual, like, have you seen Blade, Amari, and Garrett sort of raise their, their game as, as O'Shawn got here? Uh, Coach Frost and I were talking about it maybe, like, the, you know, end of the first week. And, um, you know, that impact was uh, visible right away. Um, the guys, it was awesome that the guys that were here uh, you know, wanted to make sure that they're still the guys that are here and they, they want to be the guys that play and uh, they want to earn their uh, spot on the field and stuff like that. And, they, and it, it has been a little bit of an effect. I think it's been great for Garrett and Caleb as guys that have been uh, in that position for the last couple of years. All of a sudden there's a little bit more competition. We say it all the time, the, the better the guys are as the twos and the threes and the fours, the, the, that raises the level of competition for everybody all the way up to the starters. You say it's visible. What do you see that, that gave you that impression? Uh, they're... Uh, Probably their output, um, their production, you know, we call it production when they make plays, tackles, sacks, TFLs, things like that. So you can see that. You can see them getting physically bigger and stronger as it, as, you know, as the camp has gone along. Uh, Blaze is a guy that's he's a tireless worker. Uh, he's a big time um, football junkie. Like he studies and watches film and goes over his notes. Uh, does a great job taking notes in the meeting room in the classroom. Uh, it's real important to him that way. Uh, if he m- makes a, a mental error on, on a play or is out of a gap or misses an assignment, uh, he's visibly upset about it. You know, and he makes sure that that's not going to happen again. So uh, I think that mental attitude has uh, allowed him. Obviously, with his uh, you know body type and how physical and strong he can be, uh, I think that's allowed him to elevate big time. I know the health is a big part of that. How important has that been to get that early? Huge. Out? That's that, that's a big deal. And and you know, uh, unfortunately, when he was a little bit younger, a new guy, he had a couple injuries that kept him out and things like that. And um, he's been doing a great job of uh, working hard at being bigger and stronger. And hopefully, that's going to carry over to a little bit less of that. Um, so he's not into uh, into the training room too much. Hopefully, we keep him uh, in the meeting room and on the field instead. Yeah, 
first time, uh, a lot of it is going to be, especially with the inside guys, hey, techniques and fundamentals, uh, you know, us seeing their, um, uh, you know, predominant run plays that they like to, you know, feature and uh, maybe a couple of the wrinkles that uh, may give us some headaches or not. So uh, the guys had a good mindset. There was a good, uh, we, we had a great meeting uh, this morning with uh, getting into kind of more of what, what stuff uh, we're going to be seeing. And then uh, the guys did a nice job on the field today. Thanks, All right, thanks, guys.